everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany. If you are new here, I create videos every single week on lifestyle, beauty, and fashion. Today's video is going to be a what's in my bag and a Louis Vuitton Sienna PM review. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and consider subscribing down below. Hit that post notification bell and also follow me on Instagram. Sienna PM bag. This bag comes in the Damier Ben print in the coated canvas and it retails for $1,670. I never thought I would get to own a Louis Vuitton bag. I am in shock that my family purchased this for me. It was a birthday gift for my husband, my parents, and my grandparents. They knew I had been wanting a Louis Vuitton for so long. I did a lot of research on bags and I had a few ideas of the ones I went, wanted when I went to the store. My SA, um, he really helped me kind of narrow down what I wanted. I originally thought I wanted a Pochette Matisse and I know that so many people have that bag and so I really wanted to get something different for myself that a lot of people weren't going to have. And I don't see a lot of people talk about this bag and I'm not quite sure why because it is such a great bag. You can wear this over your shoulder can carry it on your arm. You can wear it crossbody, which is typically how I wear it. It is such a durable bag. The print is beautiful. The gold hardware is beautiful. The pleating, the Louis Vuitton tag, it has the adjustable strap that comes with it, which is really nice. A lot of the bags don't actually come with a strap, like unless you get the bandolier of the Speedy, they don't come with the straps, which that makes it more expensive. This one came with it. All just so gorgeous that I'm, I do really don't understand why people don't talk about this more. Um, I did purchase this luggage tag on my honeymoon. It has my initials on it. And I just think it adds something really nice to the bag, but that's it without the Louis Vuitton charm. I love the red interior of the bag. I think it just looks absolutely gorgeous. It has two pockets up towards the front, two smaller pockets, and then a larger pocket in the back. And like I said, this is just a very durable bag. And that's what I love about it so much. It just holds so much. It, I don't have to worry about it. That was one thing that when I purchased a luxury bag, which you would think you would want to really take care of it. I wanted to be able to use it. I didn't have to worry about getting stuck in the rain or it getting ruined if someone accidentally spills something on it. This bag is so durable. I've been carrying it for two years and it's just, it's just fantastic. There are a few cons to this bag, which I will share those. Um, the gold hardware definitely wears off very quickly. I'll do a close up of it, but it definitely like is turning silver, which I'm a little disappointed in because I would have thought purchasing such an expensive bag that it would have lasted a lot longer than that. Um, they said you can take it back and get it fixed, but with COVID, I haven't taken it back yet because I don't want it to be stuck somewhere for too long or it not end up coming back at all just because they can't fix it or it gets lost or something. So I'm a little disappointed in that. And the other piece that I'm a little disappointed in is the price, obviously. So I definitely would have liked to have purchased more bags. Um, I, I would love to be a luxury bag owner. I'd love to have a ton of them. But the price just really kills me. $1,670 is just way too much for a bag. Um, looking back on it now that I don't even really get to carry a bag as often because I have a diaper bag. It, it almost seems like a waste, but I absolutely love this bag. I do plan to continue to carry it for years and years and give it to my daughter as well um, so that she can use it. But I definitely think that spending that kind of money on a bag isn't 100% worth it. There's a lot of great bags out there. But again, I do really love this bag. So if you're into luxury bags, I definitely recommend it. Um, but if you're not looking to spend a ton of money on a bag, it's not necessary. Handbag, luxury handbags aren't necessary. Okay, so now let's jump into what's in my bag. So I'm just going to pull things out. So first I have my Louis Vuitton wallet. This was a gift from my parents probably three Christmases ago now. Um, I think this is, retails for $250. Um, I'll have the price in the description box, but um, it is actually a business card holder. 
Um, I really love this wallet. I like how small it is. I love the original monogram print. I think it's very beautiful um, and it works really well as a wallet even though it is a business card holder. The next item is my Louis Vuitton six ring key holder. I have mine with the pretty pink interior and again it is in the monogram and again I'm disappointed in how the gold wears on this I think this also retails for like $250 I did purchase this myself um it was kind of like a birthday gift to myself I kind of saved some money that I got and purchased it but again disappointed in how the gold is wearing and also how the button is wearing this is a pink button and it's not wearing very well but I still think they look really pretty. I just wish for the price that it wore a little bit better. Next item is a portable phone charger. I said this in my diaper bag video. You never know when your phone's gonna die. You never want your phone to die. I always have one with me. We actually have a couple of them that we just keep in different spots in our house. And we absolutely always love having a phone charger with us. Never want your phone to be dead. Next is my lipstick and my lip liner this is my lipstick is the maybelline superstay ink crayon in the shade lead the way and then this is my mac lip liner pencil in the shade whirl i love this color for fall actually i think this combination is really pretty because it kind of gives you a darker lip line and then this is a little bit of a nudier pink i love them both for fall beautiful berry type shades and i think they work really well together then i have a nail file and a hair tie. You never know when you're going to need to pull your hair up and then you never know when you're going to need to file your nails. I chip my nails constantly. I don't really have them done lately because of COVID, but I was getting them done a lot and I need to go get them done again, but I would never want to chip like a dip powder nail and not have a nail file to kind of fix it. Also, my daughter's nails get very like jagged very easily. So I like having this to file her nails down as much as possible. And then for the last item is my hand sanitizer. You got to have hand sanitizer at all times. It's really just something you always need. And then as a parent, it's nice to have that you can just hand sanitize wherever you go. Um, that does it for everything's in my bag. Um, I have really narrowed down what is in my bag. There used to be everything, anything and everything in this bag. It was always so heavy. Um, but having a child, it kind of just really makes you narrow down the necessities because you're going from a diaper bag to a work bag to my own purse. And normally they all kind of are just in this pouch and I transfer between different bags. So I definitely really kind of cut down on what's in my bag typically. So I hope you guys like this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you do and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love for you guys to join my YouTube family. Bye.